blog.stampwithelaine.com Do you know, I can't believe it's February already, so I guess it's time to turn our thoughts to something for Valentine's Day. Can you guess what bundle I chose for today's topic? Yep, if you guessed Love Blossoms, the suite in the New Spring Summer catalogue on page 16 and 17. Now, Stamping Up's annual celebration event is in full swing. For every £45 spent, excluding shipping, you get to choose a free product listed in our celebration brochure. Um, the one I'm looking at today is this stamp set called What I Love. Here it is in the flesh. It's a three-step stamping set. Before we start, let's look at the product suite. There are five items in this product suite. There's a stamp set, the die. These can be bundled together to save you 15% and if you get it in clear, um, that will be 31.25. It has the Love Blossoms Designer Series paper stack. These are 6 by 6 inches or 15.2 by 15.2 centimetres. There are 48 sheets in a pack for, for each of 12 double sided designs. There's also the Love Blossoms cardstock pack. There are 24 sheets in this and in each pack there are 8 sheets of 3 colours. So there's 8 of Blushing Bride, 8 Crumb Cake and 8 Rose Red. There's also the Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper. These are gorgeous. Um, in the pack there's two sheets measuring 12 by 12 and they're at 4 .50. And last but not least there's the Love Blossoms Embellishment Pack. This pack is £11. It's got some beads, ribbon, some bow clips jelly dots, sequins, wooden hearts and some heart doilies. In my celebration series videos I've always have suggestions uh, for getting you to that magic 45 number. So here's option one. If you get the bundle, the Love Blossoms bundle and the DSP stack plus the cardstock, that will get you to exactly £45 and then you can choose a free item. And so with Valentine's Day around the corner, it just seemed logical to feature this celebration set called What I Love. The Love Blossom Suite is almost, well it's not almost, it is mostly in pink. And it's easy to think pink and hearts and flowers for women. But what about men? Which brings me to option two. Now, you can still have, have <coughs> the Bloomin' Love bundle. But instead of the Love Blossoms DSP stack, you can go for the Go Wild cardstock pack on page 144 in the annual catalogue. And again... The cardstock pack will have eight of each of three colours, so there'll be eight of the Whisper White, Black, Basic Black, and Tip Top Top. So total of that will come to 48.75. You can just choose any combination you want. Here are some samples if you're going pink. The alternative is instead of the stamp set, you might want to get the vellum papers coordinate with the botanical garden suite but you can use it on anything and it looks lovely on this if you're going the masculine option then this is what we're going to be making today to add the chevron ribbon the chevron ribbon is six pounds fifty and so you know you'll be spending a little bit more it'll come to 55 25 including the chevron ribbon so to make this card or a variation of this card you will also need three ink pads because this what i love is a three-step stamping set your card base is tip top taupe and it's been cut at four and one eighth inch by eleven and three quarters, so it's basically just half an A4 sheet 
cut lengthways and in centimetres that's 10.5 by 29.8 centimetres. Your basic black uh, is a quarter sheet of the A4 so that's four and one eighth inches by five and seven eighths and in centimetres that's 10.5 by 14.9. I want the black layer here to show a little bit of edge for a bit of contrast so I'm going to cut the front of the card by an eighth of an inch so that's a half and those are the eighth inch increments. Now we're ready to use our heart die and to do this I'm going to be using the precision base plate. This is recommended for cutting really intricate dies because the metal plate, the precision base plate is metal and there's much less give so you get a much nicer cleaner cut. I did a video on the precision base plate some time back. I'll give you the link if you haven't seen it yet. And I found the best way to attach the precision plate to the magnetic platform was to stand the magnetic platform up and then just offer the precision base plate to the magnetic platform and the magnets will just attach itself to each other. And that way you prevent getting injuries because the magnets are so strong if you do pinch yourself it really really hurts. Right, so now we're ready, ready to cut. Put my cardstock in, and remember it's the short side, the front, that you want. Then pop my die toward the top of the crease. I want to leave a bit of room there for stamping the sentiment. And then the top cutting plate, oh, you use the the precision base plate in lieu of your bottom cutting plate. So then the next layer in your cutting sandwich is your top cutting plate. And now I'm ready to run it through the big shot so I'll do that off camera. So now I've cut my die, leave it on the card and flip your card over with the die still intact and the next thing you want to do is to use tearing tape. And basically you want to adhere the edges of the die to the base card. So you need tiny little sections of double sided tape and be careful it doesn't go over the image so that where the bits have been cut out you won't see the sticky tape. So that's what it will look like and then you can take your die off. Be careful. And here's another new tool which is the Big Shot die brush. And if you just brush it gently over your cardstock it will just release all the debris. Then you just remove the double sided tape. Take your tumbo and attach your cardstock. Voila, that's uh, what it looks like. Bring our foam pad in and we're ready for some stamping. Use my basic black archival ink. And on the inside it just says you. Know what I love? You. We'll have some leaves here. Remember I said that this stamp set was a three step stamp mm -hmm. set. So we need our darkest, medium and light inks. This is basic black basic grey and smoky slate. 
So I found that it was best to stamp the outline image first and you'll see that the stamps have got a little tab there so so long as you have it in the same position all the time then you should be able to lay your, your stamps in the correct position. So I'm going to do it in the basic black first. followed by my medium colour, no my light, lightest colour and then the medium colour on top of that So that's the stamping done. Let's do the front. I think I'll just put a couple of Swiss sequins on because it's a masculine card and I don't really want it to be over embellished. So I might drop a couple of sequins in here. And I might just add one of the wooden hearts. So I don't know where to have that. Um, there, there, I think there. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. You'll find all the supplies I used available at my online store which you can find via my blog.stampwithelaine.com Just click on the shopping cart in the right hand column of my blog. You can also connect with me through my Facebook page or my YouTube channel here at stampwithelaine.com Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.